Do you know the top five things about insulin pump therapy? Hello, Nation. Today, we're going to talk about the top five things you need to know about insulin pump therapy. Now, we've come a long way with insulin pumps. Here's the first insulin pump by an engineer in Los Angeles who had type 1 diabetes. You can see it was the portable version, and we've come a long way. We have the pumps from Animus, Tandem, Medtronic, even the tubeless pump, the Omnipod. So let's talk about number one. The word therapy is really not the best phrase because insulin pumps are a sophisticated, accurate, and convenient method of giving insulin. If you're on a pump or multiple daily injection, you still have to test your blood sugar and decide how much insulin to give. So the word therapy is really not the best word. And I say that because a lot of people think once they go on a pump, they can do anything they want and their control is going to be perfect. That doesn't work. Number two, most pumpers do not use the advanced features. They don't plug in their insulin to carb ratio, their correction factor. They don't take advantage of the dual wave and square wave of giving a bolus where you give it all at once or half at once and the other half over an hour. And they don't use the insulin on board feature. Number three, people disconnect their pump for too long, never more than 30 minutes. Otherwise, your blood sugar starts to go up. Now, a lot of people say, gee, I need to take a shower. I need to go swimming. The new tandem pump is water resistant. And I feel so safe when I wear my water resistant pump, even when I'm kayaking. And tubing can cause errors, number four. When you disconnect your pump for too long, um, and if you hold it up, it's called the siphoning effect. You get too much insulin. If you hold it down, you don't get enough. And that's one of the reasons I use the Omnipod. Here's a woman. She's got on the side of her leg. She's got the new small Omnipod, but she did have to shave her legs first. That's the only issue. And number five, pumps are for type 1 and type 2 people with diabetes. 25% of the diabetics in the world who have type 2 are on insulin, multiple daily injections. Why not? let them gain the benefits of insulin pump therapy. Nation, stay fuel injected. That was easy. So long.